Dan Jessup here with Jessup Auto Plaza with all of our top technicians, young and old, sitting here admiring our new 2020 Corvette C8 that just arrived from Bowling Green, Kentucky. Woo! Boy, are we excited. Woo! 2020 Corvette C8 mid-engine 2LT Z51. First time I get to see one in this color. We've had black, we've had black, we've had gray. And you know what, something about orange, black wheels. And a V8 behind the driver's seat gets us excited around here. Well, the first look of a 2LT package, it ain't pretty. Well, let me say that again. I, I'll, well, despite all of the packaging and the plastic covers, this 2LT mid-engine is a pretty darn good looking interior. Of course, it'll live better and better as we prep it, remove the protective plastic. -y, plastic. Excited to get behind the wheel of this 2020 C8. So something that I like to do here at Jessup Chevrolet for our Corvette customers, and I started doing this in the C7s. These are documents, uh, build documents, that come with the vehicle. Um, and I just particularly like it, just because I love the details. Um, talks about how the vehicle is built with the options, the part numbers, um, and, it, and it uses engineering um, factory codes, um, some that you and I might recognize, some of them we don't even we wouldn't, that wouldn't even show up in the order guides, for example. Um, but like something like FE3, you know, just a, a neat suspension code. That's a, that's a um, uh, RPO code that General Motors has been using since, I don't know, before I was born on vehicles. Um, I remember when I was a kid seeing FE3 suspension on Oldsmobiles. Uh, I knew then that was one of those sporty tuned suspensions uh, uh, Oldsmobiles, sporty Oldsmobiles that you know my dad had on the lot. Um, but you look through here. This this is the cockpit trim numbers, the module numbers. Here's the inside, the trim, transaxle, getting the FE3 suspension. Now we're getting you know carbon flash scoop, seatbelt color orange. Um, And this is something you will see only on this sheet. To build a thoroughbred of sports cars. And I, I gotta tell you, I just think that is something that I wish Corvette would use more often. I've never seen it any place else, but always on these build sheets. And it was on the C7s. Here is the skillet. The skillet. Here we're looking at a coupe. With the LT2 2020, it's a built for the domestic market. Uh, a Tafeta headliner option, uh, the M1L um, eight speed automatic transmission, AQ9 seat option, which is the uh, GT2 seat, door speakers, rear hatch with camera, um, carbon flash, scoop color. Again, this is a Sebring orange painted vehicle, code G26 with the vent colors, carbon flash. You know, so right there, obviously it's the black wheels. The applique body upper front is 5106 and 5107. Front and rear cameras are digital. Here's the VIN, 
This is number 581 built. Top is painted as opposed to the carbon flash painted or the or the exposed carbon fiber. Then if you flip this over, it gives you a full additional breakdown, additional parts, part numbers. Again, telling you which vehicle it is, model year, skillet bag, one of two, bag two. This is telling us all what we should find in some of these bags like we have here that brought came with the uh, cargo net, um, fuel filler neck. You know, and here's some parts and some um, order numbers that are just on the seats. Same thing on the back of the trim. You know, here it tells you trim kit cell, left-handed drive, coupe. Date 110-2020, time stamped. Speaker module, resonators, parts. Again, now let's look at the cockpit. The build, to build a thoroughbred of sports cars, love it. Again, 110, 2020 is produced. Nothing on the back of this one. So at Jessup Chevrolet, what we'll do is I'll, I'll laminate this, all this paperwork. Um, it's kind of like a birth certificate. That's, that's the way I look at it. Um, a lot of people, a lot of dealers will laminate uh, the window sticker, which is great to have. But you know what? This is the true birth certificate. This is, this is some more interesting information um, if you've got a C8 on order, uh, I would ask your dealer to have them laminate or at least hold on to this birth certificate stuff. It's, it's kind of fun information. We don't need to hold on to it. Uh, so it only would, would really find uh, interest with the new owner. Yeah, again, here's some front and rear license plate brackets. what that part is made in Mexico I think that's a cover of some sort well we're getting her cleaned up getting her ready through the PDI well she's finally come out of uh, detail came out of my uh, graphics department and here is my 2020 C8 mid-engine Sebring Orange Metallic Z51 Chevrolet Corvette Jessup Auto Plaza. Isn't she gorgeous? So uh, this is our fourth C8 to arrive. Had two of them in black and another in shadow gray. We're here taking pictures. Hey, Mark. Posting up on the web here. Mark's our uh, in-house photographer. He's a professional photographer as well. Working for a lot of uh, local magazines, doing some, some of our mid-century homes, like the one we have uh, backdropped here. So, I got to tell you, Sebring Orange is my favorite color so far of what I've seen in the C8. The blacks are absolutely great looking, no doubt about it. Black cars always look good. I live in the desert, so I'm not necessarily a, a huge fan of black. Uh, white is usually a, one of my preferred color choices. The shadow gray looked really conservative. But there's nothing conservative about this Sebring Orange metallic paint job. And I and actually should say it's not really Sebring Orange metallic, it's Sebring Orange tin coat. It's a technical color. 
and I just love the design of this vehicle. I think Chevrolet designers did an amazing job making this look like a supercar like never before. And this color just makes it pop. So uh, you might be asking about those decals. Those are wrapped vinyl decals, very easily come off. Um, but I like just doing it, just making the car look slightly different. I didn't want to go for a full wrap. Uh, being the dealership car, I wanted to just have a couple logos of the dealership on it. Of course, I mimicked the C8R race car logos, Mobile One, Seven, my lucky number. The C8 logo down low there. And you got the Michelin, Michelin Man, of course, to go along with that exhaust. I bet it's in tour mode right now, so that's why it's not a deep rumble. So again, this is a 2LT Z51. Blackout wheels, factory, non-LPO wheels. Low wing. black interior just listen to that intercooler suck it in the air probably get, can't get too close I don't want it to suck my phone in yeah just a real pretty car Brand new, leased it to the dealership. Uh, the factory is shut down because of the uh, coronavirus. So this is gonna be one of our last ones for, actually is gonna be our last one until the factory starts up again, production starts up again and sends us another one. So we decided to lease it, keep it ourselves, um, have it to show, to feel, to touch, and of course uh, to drive. So what I want to do is uh, follow up with y'all, show you a little bit how this window stickers and whatnot, how they look here on this vehicle laminated. So here's the window sticker of this. Uh, oh, let me see if I can get better spot here without such a shadow. This uh, 2020 mid-engine Stingray Z51 Coupe. Uh, so typical fashion, all of the uh, standard features on this vehicle. Three year 36, five year 80, five year 60 I should say, powertrain. All the connectivity. And over here, the 2LT package for $7,300, which I find to be just as good as the 3LT. Yes, the 3LT is nice with the leather door panels and the leather dash and the microfiber um, headliner, but you get all of the other good options with this in the 2LT. Bose sound system. Heated, cooled. It's got the Z51 performance package, which is really a must. Mainly, certainly in 2020. Um, orange tin coat. A 995 option. Flash painted aluminum wheels. 995. And this has got the 395 orange seat belts for a total price of 74,680. So, um, talked about this. So it's now laminated trim, 